Okay, so we are beginning our online international education fair and the webinar is about to start. I can see we have about 100 students. I want to thank you for joining us today. I hope this is going to be a useful information when you're going to be attending till the end of the webinar. You will be able to learn about the scholarships, application fee waivers, the COVID-19 updates and many more. So watch till the end and ask any question that you have. I hope it's going to be worth. Thanks. First, for uh, Study Metro for organizing this um, uh, this uh, fair and for all the students that are here to listen for their future options. Okay, my name is Lucia. Uh, I'm the International Admissions Manager for Geneva Business School. Uh, and I would like to share information about uh, what we can offer for you. Okay, Geneva Business School is a Swiss boutique business school. Um, we are based in different locations in Europe. Okay, we are in Switzerland, Geneva, and we are in Spain, Barcelona, and Madrid, and we have an online campus as well. Okay, uh, Geneva Business School, um, uh, what we look for basically is that uh, we can contribute to a sustainable society. What we look for is for students that actually would like to a, be an entrepreneur and create their own business. So what we want to offer is a students a practical business approach that can actually prepare them in order to learn how to do things. As you know, the real business, you learn it by doing it, not by memorizing things, okay? So what makes us unique? First of all, is the faculty that we have. Our faculty members are a, industry professionals, all of them have their own companies or are CEOs of uh, companies at the time. So uh, it's important to mention these because they can give you an approach of a person who is already doing what you want to do when you graduate. So it's important, so basically you can have the learning coming from someone who already, uh, who already knows what you will find in the market, okay? That is the first thing. Then the second thing is that we are an education for 21st century business. Uh, our school is a paperless business school. Basically, um, uh, we run all the classes through Google Classrooms, okay? And uh, we are one of the few business schools that is certified by Google, okay? Also, we have a lot of industry events and networking. We have a, something that's called Into the Wild, where what we do is that students have the opportunity to visit different enterprises and to meet people in the industry. Either we go to the companies or the companies come to the business school. But the idea is that we generate opportunities for you to meet the right person in the right moment. Okay, You know that a networking is pretty important. So basically, we provide this opportunity for all of our students. Then uh, we have around 80 different nationalities on campus. So this is important to say from India, we have students as well in all our three campuses. So it depends on what you want to specialize if I could recommend to go to one or the other campus. Okay. Then our community, it's a family. We have 200 students per campus and we do not want to have more than that because our learning teaching methodologies based in projects and what we want is that when you finish your program basically you can start running your own company throughout the project that you have made with us so if we would have thousands of students it's not true that we will be able to help all of you so that's why we have only 200 students per campus in order to provide this personalized education and opportunities equal to all of you okay then uh, also the international programs that we offer are 100% in English. That's why we required uh, for you to present IELTS, TOEFL, or three years of uh, learning English, okay? Then as I was commenting, we are project-based learning. That means that instead of having exams, we have projects, individual and group projects. If you, um, if, I, if I can ask you, how much do you remember about the last exam you made? probably you won't remember much, or if you do, you don't know how to apply that. So our main goal is that actually what you have learned in Geneva Business School 
is what you will be practicing on a daily basis. Okay, and also something uh, important for us is the international campus network that we have that allow us for students to make transfers from one campus to the other. So you can start studying in Barcelona, then move to Madrid or to Geneva. Okay. Then to give you a little bit of um, history about Geneva Business School, we were creating in uh, 1995. Okay, I won't go into all of it, but we have the camp. We started in the campus in Geneva, then the campus in Barcelona, and we have a. The last campus is the campus in Madrid. Uh, we will be opening soon a campus in Rome as well. And uh, to let you know that Geneva Business School is ranked among the 59 best business schools in the world by CEO Magazine. Okay. So, uh, as I was telling you, we have our me main three locations Geneva, Barcelona, and Madrid all of them European cities where you will have a, the opportunity to meet a different staff member, professors, and depending on the city that you choose, the, the type of business that you would like to develop. In Geneva, we have the United Nations. Actually, our, our um, building is next to United Nations and our students can use um, the Library of United Nations throughout the whole uh, duration of the program. In Barcelona, uh, as you know, it's an European innovation hub. Uh, we have the World Mobile Congress. So for entrepreneurs, for startups, for digital marketing and sports management is one of the best um, options, okay? And for Madrid, also we have the entrepreneurial culture and uh, the startup ecosystem where we provide international management and sports management and digital marketing as well. Okay, I will I will skip this. I'll go back here. Okay, the options that we offer: we have bachelors, we have masters, and we have MBA, and we have doctorate programs. All of the programs that we offer are based in business. Okay, business of international management, and you have the opportunity to specialize in any of the options that you see below. We have international management, entrepreneurship, international finance, digital marketing, international relations, and sports management. Okay, all of these uh, are in all campuses, so that's why you can uh, exchange campus from one to the other. The only one that is not exchangeable is international relations, which is only in Geneva, and sports management, which is only in Spain. Okay. Then for the masters, it's a 1.5 year program. Okay, it's a master of international management, and we have these four options for you to specialize in. Okay, and then for um, we have also the MBA, Master in Business Administration, where we have it in Geneva and Barcelona. It's a same thing, 1.5 years, and these are the options that you have uh, for specialization. So the first uh, semester for the bachelor's, master's, and MBA are based in business. And then you will start seeing the core subjects of the specialization that you have selected. Here you have uh, some of our uh, faculty members, okay? Uh, just to give you an idea of uh, the type of uh, professionals that work with us. For example, Fiorencio Manjanello, it's a blockchain and Bitcoin expert. It's ambassador for Global Business Blockchain Council. Okay, if you would like to have more information, you can uh, uh, go through LinkedIn uh, to check on his profile. Also, Julie Vinay, it's a global business growth strategist. Uh, she is the professor of organizational behavior operations manager in business ethics. Doug Flashett is the CGO of Codific and he's one of the investors. Uh, he's a professor of entrepreneurship and leadership. These type of professors have give a, our students the opportunity to assist and to have networking opportunities with different companies and different CEOs so that they can invest in the ideas of our students. So our main goal is that actually our students can have a, this a type of a connections with Geneva Business School, okay? 
uh, well, this is some of the faculty members that we have in, in Geneva, as I was explaining. Um, we have a important subjects as a lean thinking, design thinking, and business development. Okay, I will just pass these uh, options. Uh, in, in this one, I would like to stop in Barcelona. Um, uh, Frank Hendricks, it's our, um, he's managing the partner at Podo Activa Elite. He's actually the professor of sports management and he takes care about uh, this particular area. Thanks to him, uh, we have a really good network opportunity for our students to join a basketball, volleyball, football tours, tournaments, and actually the opportunity to meet important people of the network. Okay. Um, I would like to um, to share a, a video with you. One second. This is our world summit. Hi, my name is Ola. I'm from uh, Norway. I study sport management at the Geneva Business School in Barcelona. For me, the World Football Summit would undoubtedly help me connecting with my future employers and uh, give me a future job, which I will enjoy very much. So the World Football Summit is for me a good place to network with uh, good companies because uh, as I want to work in the business of football later, it's a good way to uh, connect with people that will be interested uh, to work with in the future. They are networking with so many specialists in the football industry, attending sessions, learning. These guys are investing in their future. My favorite speaker is Darren Niels, the Lambda United Director, and he explained how the growth of the club he's had in America, as well as combining football with the city of Atlanta United and creating a great atmosphere. So I'm really looking forward to see David Vicente. He'll be talking about the digitalization of La Liga clubs. But I think it's really important to have digitalization also in the world of sports, because uh, as it's an old thing, like sports has been here for a long time, it's good to see how people are going to manage it with the digitalization, social media and all that stuff, and to see how it may be going to increase the audience of the sports itself. <laughs> It's not only about what you learn in the classroom, but also outside the classroom. And we, as Geneva Business School, want to contribute to that. So here you have an example of all the events that Geneva Business School participate in. Actually, uh, we, we make throughout the entire uh, career program, either if it's a bachelor or a master or an MBA, the opportunity for you to attend different events that uh, will uh, allow you to have these type of networking opportunities. To explain you a little bit about our professor, Doug Flashett, uh, he has made a partnership with Codific. Okay, Codific is a software engineering firm whose promising software engineering interns team up with Geneva Business School students to build digital products and launch projects. Actually, uh, this idea came up of uh, came up from two uh, of our students, and Doug uh, was the um, the the person helping them to create um, this idea to advise them how to proceed at the end uh, he has actually uh, become one of the main investors of this company okay i would like to share some of our student uh, stories so that you can actually uh, it's not coming from me but from our students what is it that they are doing it's important to mention that what Geneva Business School is looking for is for leaders that would like to change the world where we live in. Okay, what we look for is for students, obviously in every business you want to make money, but what we want is the mentality of a leader, somebody who has the opportunity to 
and make a sustainable business. Okay, so let me share some of the testimonials of our students as well. Hello, my name is Amy Wandai. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm a second year student studying sports management and marketing at Geneva Business School at the Barcelona campus. I adapted to life at Barcelona really, really well because I made a lot of friends firstly at the Geneva Business School campus. And on top of that, the student services department was so friendly and willing to help me, you know, integrate to life in the city. So it was very easy for me as a new person in the city to adapt to, to life here. Studying sports management at Geneva Business School has opened many different paths for me. Um, I started just attending conferences and networking events, and now I've moved to a different level where I'm actually going to be speaking at conferences. For example, I'm going to be speaking at the Athens Women's Football Summit, and this is the first international conference for women's football happening in Greece, and I'm going to be a panelist talking about the state of women's football in Africa. So this is a transition um, for me and a huge milestone in my career, and all this is because of Geneva Business School. My advice to new students who are hoping to study sports management is to dream big. Um, don't limit yourself to, you know, only coming and learning. You know, I, I think I would advise them to start projects while they're in the course because there's so much opportunity in this school. So many professors who know and have experienced what we're going through so they can support you in any venture. So I think don't just come here to learn, but also come here to grow another aspect of yourself and you'll definitely get the most out of it. Well, Amy, Amy Wandai, as, as she's explaining, she's from Kenya. She was taken by Geneva Business School uh, to Athens in Greece as a panelist. Uh, she has uh, shown a pretty good knowledge and a uh, really fast learner. Today Sorry. Is the graduation ceremony. Sorry about that. Okay, um, if we continue, I would uh, like to give you an idea of uh, how we sit uh, to study in Geneva Business School Madrid campus, which is the latest campus that we opened. Uh, so let me just share this with you. It's a big international city. Diversity. Easy going culture and friendly people. I can learn a new language. The international diverse student body. It's a super fun city. Social life is great. The creative inspiration. Well, as you can see, we have different uh, nationalities. As I told you at the beginning, we have around 80 different nationalities coming from all around the world. And this is something that happens in all of our campuses, okay? Um, this is another success story that we have. He's Mohamed El Sarag. Um, uh, he graduated in 2019, and after his graduation, he created his own company, which is called Hot Desk. This is a company that actually creates a connection with a, a different um, companies where he can provide the opportunity to make networking and to work using uh, the hot desk app that he uh, provides. I also encourage uh, you to visit his LinkedIn page. If not also on our uh, channel in YouTube, you can see his own uh, story, okay? Uh, this is Alexander Vasilevich. Uh, he's a Russian and uh, uh, also he created his own, um, his own business that's called Power to Impact. Okay, let me also share his story with you. Uh, Lucy, I'm so sorry to interrupt yes. you, but we have to stick with the time so that we can give time to others as well. I'm so sorry. How much time do we have left? Uh, see, it was like total 15 minutes, so it's almost completed. So another okay. minute or so will be uh, like, I'll really be grateful if you can do that. Okay, no issue. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. 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 Uh, anyways, this presentation uh, I have already shared with Study Metro. You can you can see all these stories uh, to understand basically what is it that we do about all the business events that we have and how Geneva Business School uh, makes a responsible leader throughout all these activities that we have. I would just like to share about the application process that we have. Okay. By attending this online fair, you will be exempted to pay the application fee, which is 150 euros, okay? So basically, if you would like to 
uh, apply to Geneva Business School, you have to do it through Study Metro, and they they know that I am the point of contact, so you will be exempted of the, those uh, fees. Okay, so instead of applying online, you do it directly with Study Metro, or you can contact me at lucia at gbsg.com. Okay, how the application process works. Uh, basically, uh, you will have to submit a series of documents, uh, your transcripts, your um, certificates that you have obtained so far, and the most important thing, a 500-word essay that is related to a case study. Okay, after submitting all the documents, um, you will have an interview with the academic department, and once you are accepted, you will be provided a conditional acceptance letter. Okay, um, afterwards, uh, we have to process the payment and to start taking care about the visa, uh, the visa process. Okay, uh, since we are running out of time, I won't be able to. So this brings us to the end of the webinar. I hope the information that you have gained today is going to be useful for you for up and making an application to the university. If you still have any question or any query about applying to the university, then you contact one of those study metro representative. Thank you so much again for joining this webinar. Have a good one.